And he grounds one to the right side. Into the outfield base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here is J.D. Martinez. Three for six in the series so far. And that one goes straight to the oh, backstop. Down. And that's a wild pitch as he moves into scoring position. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Sail ready. Swings through that. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's got four hits in the series on nine at bats. In the air left field. And there are two down. The right field. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. These guys can really pile up the runs, Chris. They're among the top teams in scoring this year. Yeah, and when you can get a lead and be out in front, it really changes what that opposing manager can do with oh his bullpen. And on top of that, it helps your own pitching staff. It gives them more margin for error. So instead of guys squeezing the ball, trying to throw darts and be perfect. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. On the warning track, and hauls it in. The runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Tell me what you know Back here in Boston. Clayton Kershaw getting the start. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into Leading the big off. leagues. Can't what wait to watch him pitch today. No Bottom of the first, and here's the veteran outfielder, Corey Kluber. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Nick Pavetta up next for the Red Sox. And a sack bunt here. Freeman. And they put the tag on him for the out. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Girl, in this day and age, if you can't slog and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Center field. Martinez moves towards it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two away. That is cool. Jorge Alfaro at the plate, taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and that will end the inning. One left for the Red Sox, scoreless after one. Like 
and welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. The batter now will be Will Smith. The wind of the pitch. And he was nowhere near that one for strike one. Sale, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a sinker. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Sale delivers. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Line drive, base hit. He's been swinging it really well lately. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. And next for L.A., Trace Thompson. First offering, misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. The bit behind with that swing, it's strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. And that is cut on and missed. And the count, one and two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. Bell Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Max Muncy in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And sale deals. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And another ball. Smith leads off first with one away. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Three two now. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So first and second with one man gone. Michael Bush now at the plate. On the ground, left side, six four, and he'll eat it and be happy with the out. That is not. A designated hitter, Gavin Lux. And now it's Gavin Lux. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. 
First pitch, not close. Left hand hitter waits. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Well done behind the dish. Pitch gets away. Gets to it on to first. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second, and here is Joely Rodriguez. There's the strike. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings right. through it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Just missed. It's a good take. Lifted in the air, right center field. Martinez takes it in for the out. And yeah, there's one away. The first base. And stepping in for Boston, Ryan Brazier entered the game on defense. So this is his first trip to the plate in this one. Swing and a miss. It's 0 oh, 1. In the on deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. He's got it, and there's two away. Batting seven. The right field. So stepping in for Boston, Tanner Howe came into the game on defense. So his first trip to the plate here. That one the other way. And it gets by him. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Tanner Howe with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can... That's a base hit as a run scores. Adelberto Mondesi up to the plate. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. Two nope. balls, no strikes to count. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Banks off the wall. Corey Kluber up next for the Red Sox. And first offering is fouled off. Inside and it hit him. Well, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about. And a big swing and a miss. And a good eye there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Kershaw fires. Got him. Huge strike out there. Back here in Boston, on to the third inning. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Miguel Rojas. Swinging a foul straight back. Rojas measures six feet even, 190 pounds. He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games.
The flip to the pitcher covering. One up, one down. The center fielder, number 28, J.D. Martinez. Now it's J.D. Martinez. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Line drive, base hit, fair ball down the third baseline. Now he turns and heads for second. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And a foul ball. Singy, the Red Sox won the World Series in 2018 in five games. And Chris Sale, normally a starter, ended up coming out of the bullpen. He recorded the final three outs. He struck out the side to finish things off. You and I called that game together. Yes, we did. It was a whole lot of fun. Good eye right there. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets... Back inside Fenway Park, set for the bottom of the third, and stepping in for Boston, Kenley Jansen. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-1. Jansen, a former All-Star, hitting third in the lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Next offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. pitch and now one, one and two, two this one popped up right side Freeman calls it in and there's one away so here's Boston's now cleanup that. hitter Jorge Alfaro Jorge. his first at bat was a strikeout Strike one. All ones the count. In the air, left side. Two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front now shoulder coming, coming yes, over sir. instead of staying go closed. Away. If he does that, go he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. He swings and fouls one off. Rodriguez, a left-handed throwing catcher, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Next offering is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That ends the frame. Red Sox go down one, two, three, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here at Fenway Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Mookie Betts. pitch all one no strikes you know these Dodgers as this game goes on have to be more disciplined at the plate they're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs can they turn that around and stay within the zone we'll see but I think they have to Montesi yeah, fires over to first leadoff hitter Will retired in the fourth Smith. and up to the plate is Will Smith Swings through that oh, one. 0-1. Oh, Swing and a ball popped up. And they get the out on Smith. That's out number two. Trace Thompson steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's 0 for 1. That one drilled left field. And it's off the wall.
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Here comes Max Muncy. Worked a walk at his first trip to the plate. And ball one. Thompson off of first with two away. And it's even up. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And strike two. And down on strikes. Third out. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Brazier. And a pitch. There's a strike. On the ground, right side, Bush. In plenty of time to first. And a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And next for the Red Sox, Tanner Hout. One for one. He tripled in his first trip. The Red Sox made Tanner Hout a first round pick. He was 24th overall in 2014 out of the University of Missouri. And one of the guys he really looked up to, Max Scherzer, another former first round pick out of the University of Missouri. And he takes a strike. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow. You know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won now that ball game. Better and then fielder. Sunday, Yay. they pushed the series by winning game four back to Oakland for game five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. Swang and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Mondesi at the plate now. That's ball one. And he's already singled in this game. No. Pitch misses there. And now 2-0. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their hearts broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Bush. Tosses to first. Play made. That ends the inning. Boston strands a pair. They lead it 1 0. We go to the top of the fifth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Michael Bush. The why to kick the pitch. In the air, right field. How has this one sized up? He's got it. One away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Gavin Lux. Fought off foul. Singing strikeouts are king these days, and entering the 2023 season, Chris Sale holds the big league record. He is the leader, most strikeouts per nine innings. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. Can't glove it cleanly. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes, and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Miguel Rojas at the plate. 
In the air, out towards right center. Out. Makes the grab, and there's two out. Here's J.D. Martinez, one for two. J.D. Martinez. And first offering is fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Knocks it down to the hole. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Back in Boston, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Nick Pavetta. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. That one misses, and that is ball one. Kicks and deals. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now batting. Here's the third baseman, Kenley Jansen. Jansen. Pitch misses there, and it's 1 0. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Berdanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland, and it gets by him. Now he'll turn for second. time through the order and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Alfaro stands in now and watches strike one. That one's in there. No balls, two strikes. That misses off the outside edge. Runner leads away at second. Out to center. Martinez has a beat on it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now back, the catcher, Joely. And now the catcher Rodriguez. comes up to him, Joely Rodriguez. And that's in there for strike one. And he pumps it a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher. Now this is through for a base hit. Jansen, around third. He will score. And they take a two-run lead. Two outs, runner at first. And the batter now, Ryan Brazier. Strike one. And it's one and one. Rodriguez, the runner at first with two gone. And a swing and a miss. And now the lefty three. struck him out looking. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. So one run in the inning on this base hit, and it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at the ballpark. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Swings and misses. Strike one. Freeman, a former MVP, 33 years old, and he's driven in double-digit runs over his last 10 games. Game. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure, hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. 
He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 and, and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. 0-2 now. And he gets that fastball by him upstairs. Up with it, fires to first. But no chance to recover. He'll reach after the strikeout. Well, you don't see it very often, but every once in a while, a guy strikes out and still somehow ends up safe on first. And when it happens, you kind of scratch your head. But I guess sometimes a pitch is so nasty, it makes everyone miss. Now they're going to have to get more than three outs in this inning. Man at first with one gone. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. That misses the zone. Ball one. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Sale in a 1 2. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now the left fielder, Trace Thompson. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a miss. Slider. right there tonight his slider has been really impressive I mean tight spin seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand here comes the 0-1 late that time and it's strike two swing and a miss struck him out chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three bottom of the six and Fielder Tanner Howard. The pitch. That oh, one missed. You know, these Red Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Paxton in the box now. No balls and a strike. Line drive. Rojas zips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. Joe stepping in for Boston at Alberto Mondesi. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And the batter now, Corey Kluber. In there, and it's 0-1. And that one at the knees for a strike. Mondesi leads off first with two down to the inning. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Red Sox leave one, but they hold the 2-0 lead. Top of inning number seven, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. And he deals. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. Strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, right now he's in cruise control. Auto.
So bases loaded with one away. And now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. Very high with that one. One and oh. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. One and oh to Freddie Freeman. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. One out. The possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. pitch still two and two after the foul ball and here it comes Roll to short, could be two. There's one, but not in time at first, he's safe. The inning is still alive and the run scores. Here's Mookie to hit. Gotta be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. And it's fouled away. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. The pitch. Off the plate inside, and it's a ball and a strike. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One and two now. Sail back to work. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage. Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Leading off, Nick Pavetta. Kershaw back to work. This to third, Muncy. Throws to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open now the seventh. Third baseman, Edley. Now the third base. Yes. Kenley Jantz. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Alex Vesia. He's into the game with the bases empty. Alex. Swings and misses struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him four. And now, Jorge Alfaro. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is foul back. The lefty ready and a 1-1. One -one. Two one. Bounced out to short. Rojas rolls across the oh. diamond, and the inning is over. Red Sox go down quietly. Score remains deadlocked at two two. Here at Fenway, at the top of the eight. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Sale, 
into his eighth inning of work singing he's been good yeah he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game if you're going to get to him you get to him early they didn't do that today we'll see what happens as this finishes the 0 one pitch count in great shape it seems you might have a chance to finish it the 0 2 Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Here's the 0-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. The 0-2. Into center, Paxton in position. Puts it away for the out. Now here is Trace Thompson. This one in the air center field. It falls in and that's a base hit. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. So a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. One down, runner at first. Max Muncy steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Muncy hits one in the air. Kluber under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. Oh, the throw is wild. So up next, now Michael Bush. The second base. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed oh in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. That one is lifted in the air. How moving under it. Squeezes it. And that's the inning. So the Dodgers leave one. And this game is still tied at two. And, and we're back here at Fenway Park. And now the catcher comes up to him. Joely Rodriguez. Pitches in there. That's strike one. And that one is inside. On the ground, Bush tosses the first one gone to the bottom of the eighth. Up next for the red side, the first baseman. And here's the first baseman, Ryan Brazier. First off, bring and it just okay. misses. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One down, base is empty. And that's oh, off that's the inside right. edge. And the count two and one. That clips the corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. And the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, Bruno, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited. It was out in front. I'll tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot. Liner, base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. It's the ninth, and we are tied. Back here in Boston, and now the DH, Gavin Lux. Swing and a miss. He was out front that time. 
So now a pinch hitter, Chris Taylor. And this is a big at bat in this ball game. Number three. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One gone here. And the batter will be the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Kicks and fires. And that's in for a strike. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Here comes the throw. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Everything came together for him. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. One for three. And the first offering is not close. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Ground ball up the middle. Alfaro throws on to first. And Martinez is out. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does On a line. And it's off the wall. In comes the run from third. 3-2. They take the lead. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Two outs, runner on first. Here's Mookie now. Out to short, Mondesi. Zips it across, and Betts is set down. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back now at Fenway. Bottom nine. And stepping in for Boston, James Paxton. There's a strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Bounce to the right, and that chance handled in plenty of time to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now And next for the Red Sox, Alberto Mondesi. And first offering is fouled off. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Strike two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Going two now. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Muncy makes the play, and yeah, there's two away. Up next for the Red Sox. So the batting order turns oh, over. Corey Kluber up next for the Red Sox. Oh, and the first pitch misses for ball one. 
Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. The next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. And a swing and a miss. And there's a foul ball. Down to their final strike. That one to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, you can see these guys are feeling it right now. Look at the smiles, look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series sweep, and they get it done on the road. You talk about the confidence that that can produce. I'll tell you what, they're riding high right now. It's a nice win in this game. 3-2 the final score. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shelby saying so long. Victorious Dodgers. Three runs on eight hits. No errors. They left ten men on base. For the Red Sox, two runs, nine hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball. Game. 